communications with the spacecraft have been perfect. Here is Bruce Hall. He's with Charles Smith. He's a 130-year-old former slave who came to this country 118 years ago. He's here for the launch of Apollo 17. Bruce Hall, come in. We have here among the VIPs one very unusual man. He's at least 130 years old. His name is Charles Smith. And do you believe it really happened? You said they would never go to the moon. No, they ain't going there. I'll tell them that. And then the border's going to leave it. I said, no, there ain't no border going to the moon. No. What are you going to stop up there? What are going to hold that plane up in there? What are they going to hold it up there? The moon ain't going to hold it. Oh, well, they've been before. It's a bunch of money. Oh, of course, I don't blame them from getting it. Just like when, when the first man killed the president, the first president that was killed, Guitar killed Garfield. There's something to add him. I brought him back. He said, bring him dead alive. I got him. They brought back rocks last time when they made a trip to the moon. Do you believe that? No. <laughs> no. Ain't nobody been there. You don't no. believe they've been no. to the moon? No, no. Ain't nobody been there no moon. Well, Walter, that's the view of a 130-year-old man. Now back to you. Well, Bruce, uh, Charlie Smith is not the only fellow who doesn't believe that man has gone to the moon. It's not as ridiculous a thought as you, would, as you might think or any of us might think. It seems a little bit odd now, but uh, I've talked to a lot of people around the world and uh, some rather intelligent ones who uh, somehow or other uh, just cannot accept the fact and, and believe that uh, that uh, man really hasn't done it, that somehow or other it's a big hoax. I've uh, found them many places. I don't know, maybe you have as well, Wally. And uh, it, it really isn't, uh, it really isn't anything uh, that unusual. Right, right at this moment, uh, we're about to get uh, the word.